I am absolutely sick by what I found out was actually going viral on TikTok. Now, I was in the military doing 9-11, but we need to backtrack on 9-11. Everybody knows about how horrific 9-11 was. Osama bin Laden and his terrorists attacked the United States, killing over 3000 people. But before that, don't forget, he actually attacked the World Trade Center in 1993. 1993, he attacked the World Trade Center, man. This man has been hating the United States of America for the longest time. I remember that back in 1993. And then when I went into the Navy in the year 2000. October the 12th, if I'm not mistaken, of the year 2000, Osama bin Laden actually attacked the USS Cole. That was actually in port in Yemen. 17 sailors got killed because of Osama bin Laden. Now, the USS Cole is still in operation today. I actually remember, guys, when um the Cole actually came back to uh, home port after all the repairs. Guys, you can still kind of see. Where that hole was in the ship, if you ask me, that was my opinion when it actually returned to Naval Station Norfolk, where I was actually stationed at. Man, these young people today, man, are out of their minds because young people right now today, young Americans. Are praising Osama bin Laden. They aren't sympathizing with the terrorists. Now, this should not be a shocker at all, to tell you the truth. But still, considering, you know, what's going on over there in um, Israel right now, a lot of people are praising Hamas right now. They are. But Osama bin Laden also did not like Jews. So those leftists are sympathizing with him on that. And they seem to be perfectly okay with Osama bin Laden carrying out the most deadly terrorist attack in the country's history. And I find it absolutely repulsive. I said it before, man, when the when the Israel Hamas war started, I said, man, what if 9-11 actually happened today? I said I was willing to bet that there would be a lot of people sympathizing with Osama bin Laden. And that is exactly what is happening right now. Young people who are dumb are praising him. Now, guys, I was not around during Pearl Harbor. I mean, Pearl Harbor happened on um, December 7th, 1941. I wasn't born until another uh, 36 years later. But even I realize 36 years later, you know, after my birth, I realize how big. The events of um, the Pearl Harbor attack were. It was massive. These young people today, man, they don't care, man. It's only been 22 years since 9-11. And this is sickening. This is on CNN, guys, CNN. And we do have our kick as well. Some young Americans on TikTok say they sympathize with Osama bin Laden. Yes. What is happening, man, to our country? This man was the most dangerous terrorist on the planet. He would have thought twice about killing these leftists that are praising him. It's shocking, man. Look here, it says dozens of young Americans have posted videos on TikTok this week expressing sympathy with Osama bin Laden, the notorious terrorist who orchestrated the September 11th attacks for a two decade old letter. He wrote critiquing the United States, including its government and support of Israel. Now, this Israel support right here, this is what probably got them in on supporting bin Laden. The letter, which attempts to justify the targeting and killing of American civilians, was first published in 2002. It began to recirculate this week on the social media platform and videos on the topic have garnered at least 14 million views by Thursday. And I do believe that, um, it also circulated really from a um, a Guardian article that was still on the Internet. Some kind of way it went viral. OK, uh, many of the videos which supported some of Bin Laden's 
um, assertions and urge other users to read the letter were shared in a wider context of criticism of American support for Israel in its ongoing war with Hamas. You see, guys, a lot of these leftists, man, they are pro Hamas. TikTok said on Thursday that videos promoting the letter violate its rules against supporting any form of terrorism. The company said the number of videos promoting the letter were small and added reports of it trending on our, our platform or inaccurate. TikTok declined to provide uh, specific data to support this assertion. I mean, this is crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I am disgusted, man. Disgusted because I actually knew people on my ship because when the um, the coal got bombed by Al Qaeda and bin Laden. That shit was out of operation. So the sailors that survived, they went to other ships. And I believe there was like four or five of the of the people that were on the coal came to my ship and serve. This is despicable, man. These young people, man, have no respect and no love for this country. None. Make no mistake about it, guys. When Xi Jinping came to San Francisco the other day, that was the reason why you saw so many Chinese communist flats flying in the streets of San Francisco because these people are communists. They hate America. And a lot of them are anti-Semites, man. It's just that simple. Look over here on our kick here. This is some of the um, the TikToks that are going around. Um, it says here over the last 24 hours, thousands of TikToks um, have been uh, posted where people share how they read Bin Laden's infamous letter to America in which he explained why he attacked the United States. The TikToks are from people of all ages, races, ethnicities, and then it goes on to more right there. But listen in to some of this right here. This morning I read Letter to America, which is Osama Bin Laden's letter to America explaining why he attacked Americans. And I am ashamed to say that I not only have never read this letter, but I didn't even know this letter existed. It's wild and everyone should read it. If you haven't read it yet, read it. However, be forewarned that this has left me very disillusioned and I feel the same exact way I felt when I was deconstructing Christianity. I feel uh, a little bit just confused like I have entered into another timeline. What is this? And yeah, so go read it. So I just read a letter to America and I will never look at life the same. I will never look at this country the same. I will never, I, please read it. And if you have read it, let me know if you are also going through an existential crisis in this very moment, because in the last 20 minutes, my entire viewpoint on the entire life I have believed and I have lived has changed. Please read that entire letter. I need everyone to stop what they're doing right now and go read. It's literally two pages. Go read A Letter to America. And please come back here and just let me know what you think. Because I feel like I'm going through like an existential crisis right now. And a lot of people are. So I just need someone else to be feeling this too. I you know what? I have no sympathy for these people. They probably didn't even really comprehend what happened during 9-11. Maybe they were too young. But they are sympathizing with a terrorist. This is right here in our country, guys. Right here in our country, in the United States of America, man. This is crazy. Let's watch one more here. I need you to stop what you're doing and go read A Letter to America. It is literally the craziest thing I've read in a while. And while I can't say that I'm that surprised, I am pretty shocked. So go read it and tell me what you think, because I really also need to talk to other people about this. And actually, before you even read the letter, I did want to mention in reading the letter, I could only look at this right here on this. Um, why this guy's talking, right? He says under settler colonialism, any kind of resistance is branded as terrorism because the only acceptable violence is violence by the occupier. 
Yeah. But Bin Laden went out there and killed over 3,000 Americans. Many, many people were killed. Innocent people. But you guys are trying to justify Bin Laden? Only think of this tweet that I saw the other day. Under settler colonialism, any kind of resistance is branded as terrorist because the only acceptable violence is violence by the occupier. So this is. Fu yeah, I, I'm going to stop right there, man. I am so ticked off by this, man. This is insulting, you know, especially to the many people that lost their lives. Many of the people were New Yorkers in the uh, New York metro area, worked in the World Trade Center. And now these people, man, are just pretty much just pissing all over them by supporting Bin Laden of all people. All people. These are the same people, man, that want to be pro Hamas out there. Probably a lot of the people that were um, attacking the DNC yesterday, they feel the same way. I mean, the young generation, man, they must be lost. They really, really must be lost, man. But. I'm not shocked, I guess I could say, I should say, because when you see like um, uh, queers for Palestine, that kind of thing, do they not realize that what would happen to them if they were actually in Palestine? What would happen to them if they were in the Gaza Strip? What Hamas would actually do to them? They don't care, man. They really are naive. They know nothing at all. This is sickening, man. Really, really sickening. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.